Hi there, this is Scott and I was just, you know, minding my own business on a Sunday night getting ready for the new week to start and I came across the 7534 exam page and I noticed that this paragraph has changed and it says on November 22nd, this exam will be republished to reflect these changes. Since the last exam update, Microsoft Azure has had significant technology changes and we're updating the exam objectives to include them. So Microsoft is pushing some uh, larger changes to the exam. Okay, I, when I have to go over to the brand new exam requirements document, I'll notice that they don't have that nice red highlighting anywhere. If you go to the old version, you can see here that they're actually nice enough to show you what's changed. And so you can say, okay, those two things changed. That's easy enough. Well, in this version, there's no red and that kind of worries me. So I'm going to have to sit down with these two documents, the old one and the new one, and compare them side by side to see what has actually changed. So I don't have that answer for you, although I see this user defined roots appears new. Um, but one thing that does look like it's changed is, first of all, there's sections in here that do not are not mentioned. OK, so the first objective of the exam of design Microsoft Azure infrastructure and networking is now design Azure resource manager networking. And instead of having five sub objectives, there's only two sub objectives. So the whole part about global um, foundation services, data centers, uh, the data center architecture, regional mobility, geos, the whole way that Azure is set up is does not appear as a specific requirement of this exam. The part about availability, um, availability has actually been moved down. If we go right down to the bottom here, um, they've got availability as a sub requirement of this new section. So. It, it's been moved around a little bit, okay? So it's, it's um, it appears to me that they've actually changed the weightings of the sections. So in the last version, all the sections were equally weighted, but in this version, you've got some sections which are five to 10% and some sections which are 20 to 25%. And so you can see here that it's a double or triple um, weighting on security compared to networking. Okay, so there are several sections. There's security, there is uh, advanced applications, which now includes messaging and things. There is, um, and uh, monitoring and management, which is 20 to 25%. So this exam has now been more heavily shifted towards those three sections. And so I'll update the course to reflect that weighting. So I'm gonna have to go through here and um, do some comparisons to see what's new. I'm not ready to update the course just yet. You have some time. The exam is uh, updating on November 22nd. So my recommendation is if you are mostly complete studying, then it might be time for you to make that decision to say, you know, what, I'm going to get the take the exam before November 22nd in order to um, so that my studying has lines up with what the exam was expected to be. If you have not yet begun your studying or you're still on the fence about this or what have you, then just realize that um, if you're not gonna be complete by November 22nd, then you might have to, the exam you're gonna face will be a little bit different than this preparation that you're gonna start with. But my initial look is that most of it's the same and some of it's just been reordered and maybe there's more questions on some things and less questions on others. So it's not like the entire exam has been uh, scrapped and, and restarted from scratch, but there's definitely some things, stream analytics, IOT, there's definitely some things added that are, um, that weren't in the last version and, and subsequently are not in the course yet. So I'll keep you posted. I'm gonna do this analysis and make sure that this uh, course reflects this exam most closely. So go back, check out this 70-53 port page, and you can see it for yourselves and start to make decisions in terms of when you're going to book this exam for yourself. Thanks a lot.